Hello and welcome to the annual Heart Golf Media Day. I'm your host, Heart Correspondent Phil Fortaleza. Next up, we head to Canton, Missouri, and we're excited to talk with Culver Stockton College Head Coach Emma Baker, as well as student athlete Emily Grojesk. Coach, Emily, thanks for joining us. Sure. Thank you. All right, Coach, first question for you. Uh, recap the women's season for us so far. So uh, what have been some of the highlights the, of the season so far for the Wildcats? We've had a couple of uh, pretty interesting tournaments. We went to Peru State's tournament a couple weeks ago in Nebraska City, and the the seniors did really well. Um, Emily here finished in third, and then our other senior, Hannah Motrish, finished in eighth. Um, some pretty good rounds and some personal bests um, from both of them, and just really excited that they're playing some good golf going into their, their last tournament for college. So really excited to see how they finish. Good. Sounds like things are starting to round into form at the right time. Yeah. Good. All right. So uh, speaking of Emily, can you introduce us to her and tell us a little bit about what she means to the program on and off the on and off the course? Emily is a senior, one of the two seniors that we have on the women's side. Um, Emily has been playing since her freshman year and her game has come a long way. Um, her freshman year, she uh, averaged some pretty high numbers, um, worked really hard in the summer and came back her sophomore year um, averaging about 10 shots less. And each year since then, she has shown big improvements. Um, she is definitely a leader by example. She is out of practice early. She's staying late. She's coming in playing holes before practice and just really puts in the work. Um, when we are out on the range, she is helping her teammates um, because I can't be watching everybody all at the same time. So I do kind of rely on her to, to see things that maybe on the other end of the range I'm not seeing right that moment. So um, she's very supportive of her teammates, and I think that that is something – that her and Hannah, the other senior, have really done a good job of teaching to some of those younger players so that when Emily and Hannah are gone next year, the other ones are ready to step up and, and fill some big shoes. So not just with the improvements, she sounds like an excellent leader as well. So that's that's phenomenal to see. All right, yes. Emily, uh, first question for you. Uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what is your major and uh, where are you from? Yeah, so um, my name's Emily. I'm from North Henderson, Illinois. Um, I'm a graphic design major with a minor in marketing. Okay. So uh, what has this experience been like for you, being able to play collegiate golf over at Culver Stockton? So um, I started high school golf um, almost as a fluke. I, they just needed me to fill the team. And um, I ended up really liking it and um but it was honestly more of a social um, thing for me. And uh, college golf just kind of worked out and it sounded fun. And I had a lot of fun my freshman year, but then um, I was really interested in, in invested in getting better. And I, it's a lot more fun when you play good golf. So I just keep trying to get better and better. Sounds like you've set some goals over your four years there and you've uh, proceeded to uh... – proceed to exceed, not just uh, meet them, but also exceed them too, right? Yeah, I, um, you know, being a student athlete, we're very busy, but um, I always make time to schedule myself so that I'm there and putting in the extra hours to get um, the practice I need. Good. All right, Coach, uh, last year your squad was selected as the Musco Heart Sportsman Sportsmanship Team Award recipient. What did that award mean to you to earn that honor? I think it was reassuring to the players that the things that they do make a difference. You know, we're not the best team in the conference. We have a lot of really good teams that we're up against. And I think that for us to have that award shows that they are the ladies on the course that are helpful and kind and just a joy to be around. And I, I really enjoy being around my team. Um, I, it's an honor to be able to be like, be their coach and get to spend time with them. And it's been really fun to see mostly em Emily and Hannah grow because I've been with them for four years now, but even the ones that I've had for a year or two, 
the the progress that they've made and just the personalities that they bring to the team is really special. Good. All right, Coach, looking at your schedule, you traveled up to South Bend, Indiana for a tournament. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about that event, what it was, and what was the course like for your squad? I love that tournament. Um, so we get to play Notre Dame's home course, uh, which is really cool to get to go play a Division I level golf course. It's definitely more challenging than a lot of the golf courses we play. Um, but I think it's a cool experience to get to leave college golf saying that I played where some of the best college golfers get to go play. Um, we And we make it fun, too. We we travel since it's about a six and a half hour drive. We traveled the day before the practice round and we went to a Notre Dame hockey game this year. The tickets were inexpensive. So we, we thought that sounds like fun and we got down pretty close to the ice and it was just a cool experience that the team got to do together. And, and the ladies got to spend some time being just college age kids that didn't have to worry about golf or homework or any of the other things that, that go on for them. So um, a fun experience and getting to play with like different players too, getting to see other schools play and, and meet new people as well, I think is a fun experience as well. A golf course is challenging for sure. Definitely sounds like it, but that, but definitely sounds like a lot of positive memories were made during that time. Okay. So let's uh, fast forward to um, the heart championship. So for fans that haven't played or been to the preserve, can you talk about the course layout and what it's like for the athletes? It's pretty open. I think there's a few places that players are able to miss, um, you know, kind of bail out. But because it's so open, it's also pretty windy. And um, Iowa wind in the spring is brutal. So uh, last year at conference, the first day was like 45 degrees or something and like 35 mile an hour winds. It was just rough conditions and and they powered through and got 36 holes in and um nobody complained nobody was like coach this stinks i'm not having fun this is awful i want to go home um they just kept their heads down and played and and it was really cool last year that each round our i think our team score each round got lower um so despite being in windy conditions that were tough they just kept their heads down and worked hard and, and powered through and just kept getting better. So. All right, Emily, um, I want your insight as far as the preserve goes, have you ever played there? And if you have, what was it like and how tough of a course is it? Yeah, we played there last year and um, it's, it's a different style of course than what we practice on. Um, we practice at Spring Lake Country Club and there's lots of trees and it's very tight. And um, this course is kind of the opposite. There's a lot of native grass and water and um, not necessarily tall obstacles, but the stuff down low that you gotta watch out for. Um, it's one of my favorites though, cause we, um, it's on the Honey Creek State Park and we get to stay in the cabins, which is a, a different experience than hotel rooms. And so there's a chance for team bonding um, before and after we play. Very good, very good. Okay, so um, we have a golf, well, they're all golf questions, but uh, specifically for you, um, what is your favorite club in the bag to use? Um, that's tough. I'm really confident in my iron game. That's something that's come a long way for me. And um, I just think it's the most fun to hit it up close. Um, and try and make that putt for birdie. Good, good. And uh, do you have any superstitions on game day that you do before a round of golf? Um, and nothing crazy. Um, I'm very particular about how I keep my stats, so I always have a course scorecard with me. Um, I always mark mark my ball the same way, um, with a black line on it for um, as a putting um guide um other than that i don't think so good okay coach um how did you get into the game of golf and eventually coaching i started i i come from a golf family so mom and dad play uh my older brother 
worked in the golf business for a long time as like a teaching professional. Um, so lots of golfers in the family. So I think it was kind of expected that I needed to play, but it was never forced on me. So um, I actually got to grow up and learn to love the game. Um, I played golf in high school. I played golf at Culver. Um, my husband and I both played golf at Culver, had two very different experiences and loved them both in our own way, but um, just really wanted to find a way to help grow the game. And the job came open and I texted my former coach, who was still the men's coach at Culver at the time and said, hey, what's with this? Is this something that you think I can handle? Is it something I should be interested in? And he said, yes, definitely. I'm going to let Pat know that you're interested. And um, it just happened to work out the way it did um, through an interesting course of events. And I'm just very happy to have the opportunity. And um, I would love to keep doing this for as long as I can. Good. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely giving you an opportunity to uh to teach the game to another, to the, to the next generation. So speaking of which, uh, can you talk about this year's group? Um, how much have you enjoyed, uh, teaching the game and coaching this group of women's golfers? I think that this group, so we have a couple seniors and, um, uh, about three sophomores that I think they are truly friends. And I think that makes it really special. I don't have to worry about them bickering and not getting along and not focusing on what they're doing. They, they come to work or come to practice, ready to work hard. And sometimes I say stuff to them and they're looking at me like I got four heads, but, you know, maybe explaining it again, they, you know, like, oh, okay. Um, they're helpful to each other. They encourage each other, encourage each other a lot um, on and off the course. And I mean, academically, these ladies are just fantastic. I don't have to micromanage go to go into class or getting good grades. They just, they just do. So um, it makes being on the golf course a lot, a lot more fun. Um, I call Kendall Krim our, our team hype woman. So she's, uh, always trying to build somebody up and she's given everybody nicknames and she just has, you know, that personality that brings everybody together. So. Good. Um, does she have a nickname for Emily? Emily is, what are you just MG? Yeah. MG. M yeah. M so. Yeah. All right. All right, Emily or MG. Um, <laughs> uh, last question for you. Uh, how much are you looking forward to the opportunity of playing in the heart championships next week? Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think that it's kind of uh, what I've looked forward to all season, spring and fall. Um, but I will be sad that it's my last golf tournament. So. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll make it a memorable one. It's kind of the same way it's it's been for uh, for the four years that it's been here. From that a pot making make another positive memory. So, Coach <laughs> Emily, appreciate your time. Uh, good luck at the Heart Championships, and good luck at the rest the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you.